so please do follow my fb page so uh, i'll also give you the link of the books i'll also give you the link of the books which are to be followed uh, today i got uh, the links of every book in detail so i'll just let you know So hey guys this is Rikraj here and you are watching Guide to NCHM CT and IHM. So today our topic will be regarding the food and beverage service and as well nutrition. So uh, I went to the college today and we were given practicals on uh, food and beverage and a lecture happened for the theory classes in nutrition. So I got many things to learn as well as now I am here to convey you the same thing so as you can learn too. So the things which I learned were how to make a bishop's cap. Now I'll be just teaching you how to fold a bishop's cap. You might have seen a napkin placed in a table in the different various restaurants and uh, also in fine dining restaurants as well as big hotels too. So the napkin which is kept in the table that is known as the bishop's cap. The formation in which it is kept is known as the bishop's cap and uh, in my FB page I will let you know how to make it and uh, so let's just move to the main topics so the main topics regarding the uh, food and beverage section which were taught to us is the basic difference between coffee latte and uh, coffee cappuccino so most of you might think what's the basic difference between this so the coffee latte is something in which there is more of milk and less of coffee but coffee cappuccino is something where there is less of milk but more of coffee so that is something also known as quite similar to black coffee not exact black coffee but quite similar to black coffee so there were many other things which were also taught to us i'll just brief the things in this video but i'll just post the whole thing in detail in my fb page as well as i'll also post it in my uh, youtube description if there is space so uh, we were also taught how to take an order from a customer when uh, they place an order for a coffee or any liquid substance. So I will be just uh, giving you every information in my FB page. So please do follow my FB page. So I uh, will also give you the link of the books. I will also give you the link of the books which are to be followed. Uh, today I got uh, the links of every book in detail so i'll just let you know and we were also taught about the misa pla as well as misa sa so this is the main thing which is known as misa sa is something like which we do at the restaurant that is the decoration and uh, everything of the restaurant interior decorations interior uh, uh, side station decorations as well as the table decorations many things more and uh, we were also taught regarding the cover which is placed at the table at various restaurants specifically cover is something which we think of as a cloth which is placed upon the table but nothing like that uh, cover is something which is uh, the cutlery as well as the crockeries or the glassware which are placed at the table so i'll just let you know what all are placed at the table at a restaurant the main things which are placed at the table at the restaurant having a wooden table top is uh, the first thing which is placed is the base cloth which is a bit rough and is also soundproof from the cutleries or the crockeries which will be kept in the table as well as uh, when we use a base cloth we also use a table cloth or the cloth sheet in our uh, language and uh, upon that we use a napron or we can also say uh, damask type thing it's not compulsory a damask but it's quite similar to damask it can be made of any material silk cotton any material but that's something which is just to make the table more attractive so the napron is uh, that's it that is the napron and uh, we were also taught how to and uh, when to take orders from the customers I'll just uh, give you a brief description, not brief description, the total description in my FB page. I'll just put the photo step by step in my FB page also. And uh, we were also taught while opening a restaurant what, are, uh, what all are to be done 
by the employees or the housekeeping staff so i'll just tell you in brief when a restaurant is opened the first thing which the employees do when they open a restaurant is they switch off all the fans all the acs all the heaters everything and they just let the open air come in uh, because the dusting has to be done so it needs to be clean so the employees first of all open all the windows all the uh, all every outlet from where dust can go out uh, as well as air can come in so the employees first of all make sure that all the tables and chairs are quite aligned that they are in the straight line as well as if there is a table for two the chairs should be placed aligned equally the chairs should be placed so as the person sitting in both the chairs are facing each other opposite way and we were also taught about the themes of the restaurant the restaurants are different uh, themes we have to keep the chairs and tables also according to the themes of the restaurant because uh, there are many restaurants which, which are couple based as well as uh, some are disco bars as well as uh, dining banquet halls so we need to keep it according to the theme of the restaurant right and uh, if i talk about the making of the cover so the cover is mainly the thing which are like um, badwas there is mainly one thing which is abc rule the first thing which we keep in the table is ashtray we used to keep it earlier but now in the indian standards it has been banned and uh, no more ashtray is kept in the table so as to maintain the hygiene standards and uh, after that bird vase is kept in which there is a flower having a very small bird along with it and also uh, the c rule is cruet which is the set of salt and paper and there is also one more rule that is the uh, container having smaller holes has to be kept for the salt and the container having bigger holes has to be kept for the white pepper and uh, also if i talk about the nutrition then we were taught about uh, the different macro and uh, micronutrients we were not taught uh, more about the macro and micronutrients uh, but um, we were taught about the bmr that is the basic metabolic rate that is the basic metabolic rate and uh, we were also taught about that the energy which we use is uh, 60% used by involuntary muscles so you can understand that the amount of food which we eat is 60% consumed by the involuntary muscles movements and we were also taught about the socio economic status that uh, basically three that is education occupation and income and if i talk about the functions of food they are basically divided into three parts that is energy giving body building regulation and protection so this was which was taught to us today so this is it thank you signing off